Welcome to Walker Tea Review. I'm Jason Walker here with a tea to get ready, get steeped, get going as far as tasting. Scooping out enough here to cover the bottom uh, inch, inch and a half base of my gaiwan here. A couple more uh, leaves there. Pearl, not really pearls, but bald leaves there. Water's been brought to an early boil. And I'm going to be able to swirl this around. Moving around like that with your pour kind of helps the leaves make sure that they get uh, covered in water, tucked underneath the surface of the water. I want a little bit of water to rest, yes, above the rim of my lid there. That's good. Let me get this kettle out of the way. Introduce this tea. Now this is from Tea Beaver. This is their super fine, let me make sure I've got this because it's just, yeah, super fine sequence of words here. Super fine Taiwan Alishan Oolong Tea. You can find a 7 gram sample available for $3 on it at tbeaver.com. Uh, other information provided on the product page. Uh, harvest time about so the beginning of August. August 1 is what it says on the product page for August 1, 2013. Uh, what else? Uh, Jai is the uh, the local village town in the Alishan area associated with this location. Um, information on the product page says that this this is grown at an elevation above 1,000 meters. You can get to, and that this is uh, produced using the Jinshen cultivar, which is Taiwan uh, number 12, sometimes called, is the, is, is the type of leaf and plant used. So while this is steeping just a little bit longer, I'm going to talk about the dry leaf, wet leaf, and liquor here. Starting off here with the dry, get a smell. Let me breathe on it, get some warm, damp air on it. Helps it to release aromas. Um, <clears throat> it's in that that often seen, often noted pattern of roasty kind of graham cracker. So it's got a bit of a honey type, of light honey type of sweetness, and a, uh, a sh shrub-like flo flower, vine-like flower, something in the neighborhood of honeysuckle, uh, English laurel. So it's got a, a bit of a, of a woody, herbaceous flower sweetness to it there, with the graham cracker roasty aspect to it. Let me scoop out a few of these leaves. Alishans are not usually going to be roasted that intensely, and that's what I'm seeing here. I see lighter, brighter green, uh, green-yellow colors. Uh, uh, rolled, wadded leaves, look to be individual leaves, um, could be one to two leaves in a bud for some of these because I do see some kind of uh, some stem portions that are, that are probably connecting more than one leaf, uh, or say two or more leaves. Um, yeah, that's kind of an initial glance here, fairly consistent in, at least in this scoop, consistent in size of bald leaf, indicating fairly consistent, more consistency in uh, the leaf choice here, leaf grading here. So setting that to the side, I can get ready to pour now, angle my lid to the side, middle finger and thumb, I'm going to hold the bowl here, index finger going to keep the lid in place, other fingers kind of wrap around here, help keep the bowl secure. Just like so. Uh, I could shake that, I guess. Get a few more drops, maybe. Yeah, that looks good. Set that to the side. Give this a shake. We will talk about this wet leaf now. The, uh, <clears throat> the nice, uh, sweet... Um, well, some people say this is a, uh, a pear-like smell. Um, that's more of the Li Shan as opposed to the Ali Shan. 
Um, sweet. Um, what do I want to put this in the category of? Uh, sugar snap pea flower. Uh, so it's got a bit of a kind of a green pea flower type of smell. It's it's light. It's not uh, excessive. It's 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 subtle in a welcoming way. So it's it's warm. It's got a, a bit of a again a bit of that kind of graham cracker lightness to it. Light toasty aspect is what I'm getting at. Warm, roasty smells. Even the, the sweet pea aspect that I'm talking about is more moving over towards more of a, a warmed, warmed over honey type of aroma. Let me scoop, pull out a few leaves here and seeing that leaf sets are it, there can't say always the case, at least not yet, until I've looked at a few more. Uh, leaf here, leaf here, Mo yeah, they look to be maybe a little ragged notches in the leaf here and there, here or there, but uh, mostly very intact leaves, very large leaf there. Let me kind of flatten that, spread that so you can see uh, 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 noticeably thick ridge of a, of a middle vein there on these larger leaves and the remainder of a bud or tip that looks like it kind of gotten worn off there. Um, edges. At least don't see a lot of oxidation, rust, red, blotchy type aspect on this, on those leaves. This one here connected again the leaf and a what was a set there looks like Again, kind of has come off little little specks of rust uh, dabbing these jagged teeth edge edges of this of this particular leaf. Again, a larger leaf here. Uh, so we got two leaves in a bud, one leaf in a bud. Let me kind of grab leaf and bud here. I'm not going to set these out necessarily on my bowl, my lid here. I'm actually running out of room. One two, three, four leaves in a bud. A little bit of variation there, okay? So, I'm gonna set that to the side now. Get into the liquor, give that a swirl, get the steam off the sides, and you see really nice, bright, golden yellow color. The uh, English laurel, the graham cracker, those aromas picking up Maybe a hint, and especially this may happen more as this cools a little bit. I'm getting kind of a uh, corn, corn the cob, corn the cob boiled in water, kind of that broth that the corn has been boiled in, kind of sweetness there. Ali shines well. A lot, several of your Taiwan oolongs, they actually start to kind of pick up as the temperature falls closer to room temperature. Nice, uh, again, slightly uh, graham cracker, toasty aspect there, and it, it, you slurp it in, and you, it hits about mid tongue as it kind of falls back towards the back of your mouth and throat. Yeah, that's where you get that sudden pop of uh, the graham cracker, that kind of toasty aspect. At the front, it, it, it appears to be. A, a, a very soft, uh, faint, more floral aspect. Think of, um, oh, I don't know, maybe maybe a light gardenia type of, again, very soft, very gentle in the front. But it, and then it picks up, kind of amplifies there, the graham cracker toasty in the middle, and then moves back. Uh, Texture-wise, not the richest, uh, thickest that I've come across. 
at first it kind of starts off, off on the top of the tip of the tongue is more watery but towards the again middle back of my tongue and mouth gets a bit of a, 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 a powdery type thickness there aftertastes as I pour this let's give us a second shot here aftertaste um, some of the English laurel some of the uh, the graham cracker sitting in the back building up this kind of toasty almost wood like woody type of sweetness there um, the texture that's re that's remaining the residual texture is again more in the back half of the mouth what the front half feels is kind of thin watery type of feel on the, on the, towards the front of the tongue as it cools the watery aspect is still more favoring the front of the of my mouth the front of the front half of my tongue it's getting a bit more into a kind of a woody type of character there. I, I, this was the first steep, but I gave it a fairly extended steep for a first steep. These leaves have unfurled uh, quite a bit. I was able to open them quite easily. Um, so uh, it gives the indication that there shouldn't be a, an extreme difference between, say, a first steep and a second steep and then the subsequent steeps. Um, so looking at this one in in relation to other alishans i try to keep them within their 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 name as much as possible i have come across some that are a bit a bit more say traditionally roasted or uh, depending on the growing situation uh, springs don't spring alishans don't always perform the same as say an august or an autumn or what those types uh, you can get more texture out of some alishans you can get a bit more uh, nuanced profile in some Alishan. So, um, but before I go too far, again, subtleties, nuances, uh, gentle, uh, f and again, soft, but not, but not necessarily weak, uh, were the, the, uh, the aromas and the character here. Uh, the back half, again, does have positive characteristics in my mouth. Uh, so I have to keep that in mind. And um, this one's tough because of all those variables. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this one a, a 90. Again, some nice components. Some components I thought could be stronger. So come back to Walker Tea Review. Find those teas that, are, that have the components that you're looking for. And find out the, 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 the strength, the intensity of it that you're looking for as well. Uh, you can find out more through the newsletter. You can subscribe to Walker Tea Review so that you can get that uh, behind that more that fuller uh, knowledge of what comes through the articles uh, that is available only to subscribers. The subscribers, of course, get access to things like the score sheet, so you can look through all the scores of the 500 plus uh, reviews that have been done. So you can find all that at Walker T Review.